lesson, you're going to make a really simple page with a CSS-based layout. This is my page. Yours is going to be a little bit different because I don't want you to exactly copy mine. You're not going to have to add a whole heck of a lot. You're going to need three columns with a header and footer. So you can see really simple page and I've got my, I've actually got five div tags controlling this page. You can see four. There's a div tag for the header, a div tag for the left column, a div for the main section, and a div for the footer. What you don't see is that there is a container div holding all of these together. We're going to look at the HTML first. It's nothing really exciting. The cool stuff is actually happening in the CSS. So we're going to open um, the page source. And you can see we've got our standard heading title. This is a link to our CSS page, which we'll click on when we want to take a look at it. But you'll see that I have a div with a class name of a container. And it ends down here, and it wraps all of the others. Then I have the header class, header section. We have the left column, main, that's right here, and the footer. And I made them different colors to make it really easy for you to see. You can't see why they are the sizes they are or why the formatting is happening. That's all done in the CSS. So let's go there. So here's the CSS, and this is where the magic happens. I really love CSS because this could style lots of pages. I could have as many pages as I want all linked to this. So I've set the background color for my page out here and just the default font when I redefine the body tag. Now the rest of these are class tags here. So these are my divs, my um, container. I've set the width to 960 pixels and I've set the margin to zero space auto and that centers your container on the page. Then I have the header. It's got a height of 200 pixels, padding at the top of 30 pixels and that just lets this not be right at the top here. A uh, background color Color is my font color, and I've set my text align to center. I probably could have saved myself a little time, slight amount. I probably should have defined my font color here in the container, because everything else would have inherited it. Um, my left column, width of 200. Now, it's floating to the left, which will make this column float and butt up right next against it. Background color, color, and minimum height of 500 pixels which would allow it to grow if it has more content than that, but it will never get smaller. Then I have main, again, minimum height of 500 pixels, flow left, so it butts up against that one, text align, center. And it's got a width of 760, 760 plus 200, that equals 960 of the container, so you're using all of it. Then my footer, I have to clear the left float. It might have worked anyway because you ran out of space for it to go next to it, but it's a better idea to clear it. It's taking the whole space because I don't define the size, so it stretches out to the maximum width. I do define the height, the minimum height of 200 pixels. Again, by defining the minimum height, it can grow if it needs to. Okay, you have its background color, color for the font, and a text line of center. So you're going to have to figure out how to add an additional column, which would be your right column and you basically will need to subtract how many pixels it's going to be. shouldn't be too hard to do this assignment. Real similar, please pick different colors, say something cool in the different sections. You don't have to do a real web page here, but I really wanted you to get a picture of what those divs would look like and how they connect next to each other so you can see where the different things would be. And if you're imagining this as an actual web page, your masthead would be here, your links would be here, your main content would be here, and your footer would be here. And that's what you're going to do for this assignment.